Hi, this is Steve with Auto Hauler Supply, and today I just want to talk a little bit about the different options you have for tying down a vehicle inside an enclosed trailer. Um, uh, this is kind of uh, an interesting problem. A lot of the enclosed trailers that you buy will just have D-rings at the four corners, and they don't have any E-track in them, and so you're just you just kind of have to make do with what you have unless you want to put some E-track down. Uh, so I'm going to start with that kind of scenario. Um, a lot of people will buy uh, ratchet handle strap, ratchet ratchet handles with these kind of hooks on it with a twisted snap. You know, so they can go around the axle or what have you. These, these are these are good options. And these are good options, but um, the problem is if you get too close to the car, this this long tail here um, will sometimes you just kind of run out of room inside of there. So. Um, one thing that we're always kind of fighting is is space in there, and so we have this actual. Uh, this is actually a ten thousand pound mini ratchet. Um, you know, I can get I can get three fingers in there, but it's pretty small. And let me see if I can set this iPad down here. So let's see what we're dealing with here. With a bolt-on snap hook here, you're going to take a lot less space when you get out to your D-ring at the end. You know, this thing, it takes up a total of nine inches, basically, from um, the ratcheting portion to the end of the hook here. You know, when you're dealing with one of these kind of situations over here, with uh, like the first one I showed you, that's more like 20 inches. So anyways, that's one thing to think about. If you can, if you put E-Track down, that's gonna give you a lot more options as far as what, how you tie down. And then, you know, you gotta choose between horizontal E-Track or vertical E-Track. Okay, this right here, that's vertical E-Track. The slots run the same direction as the run of the rail. This is much more common, this is horizontal E-Track. So just so we get our terminology straight. I've got lots of the E-Track hardware. And by lots of E-Track hardware, I mean, I've got a lot of E-Track hardware. We sell a lot of these E-Track wheel straps. All right, for E-Track hardware, for horizontal E-Track, this low profile roller idler uh, is easily my um, most favorite one to sell folks because as you can see, it gets you down really low. This is the strongest uh, E-Track hardware we've been able to find. It's got 6,000 uh, pound braking strength and um, we, we made this, uh, this piece of hardware here so that the thing can orient in such a way that it's going to be in line with the e-track when you got a tire up on it uh, for most of your three-point tie downs you're going to want to be pulling straight up and down or in line with in line with the wheel if you can for basket straps it's not quite as important you know if we, we if you got like a fully adjustable basket strap you can be off off center a little bit it's not quite as big of a deal um, we also have uh, what I call the double swivel this is a e-track idler that uh, it, it pivots this way and that way and then it also goes around 360 degrees so you can you can pull in line so that's kind of cool um, you can go off to the side so I mean this is not a bad way to go you know maybe if uh, you got it works really good for vertical e-track uh, for horizontal e-track it'll work too it's not going to lay down as flat though if you, if you see there it's, it's, it's a little bit limited there which is why I like the low profile roller idler uh, better for horizontal e-track but this, this piece of hardware here, uh, you know, it does have its place. Uh, usually in vertical E-Track is where we like to see that. And then um, another different idler you can use. This one also works really good in vertical E-Track. Um, this one I like is in vertical E-Track. It's going to go really, really low. I'm showing it here in the horizontal, but, uh, you know, in that vertical style, which I showed you earlier, that's going to have a very low clearance. So... Um, this is another piece of hardware for you to think about. 
another thing for you to think about when you're <clears throat> you're looking at doing enclosed auto transport uh, is what kind of hardware you're going to put on your ratchets. Uh, for a horizontal e-track, this is a really good item here. Um, this is a the, the, this is the most low profile one we have. It is a what we would call a flat e-track or uh, uh, spring e fitting. This one here, um, a lot of them out of the market are 3,000 pound brake strength. We, we actually buy 6,000 pound brake strength one so we can tag the whole assembly at one third of that for ultimate strength. So we can tag it at 2,000 pounds. You can see there, there, yeah, there's the tag there. So um, this is a great option for this uh, horizontal e track. I think lays down flat. Not a bad way to go. Next, we got the uh, the bull ring style. Now, this this one this will work uh, in both vertical, as you can see there. It's it's, it's just lined up perfectly for vertical e track, but you can also put it in a horizontal because it you know it it really doesn't matter if you if you put this in a, in horizontal, it's just going to take and you lock it in there. I can show you on this actually. So it'll work in horizontal as well. Just puts kind of like a half twist in it, but it's not a big deal. Um, this is a nice way to go also. And then this one's is, this one is the same flat E-Track. It's on uh, what we call our, our mega ratchet handle, which is a little bit nicer ratchet handle. It's got the, the rubberized grip here. It's a little bit heavier duty, but... Um, you don't have to get that. I mean, all of our uh, ratchet handles are pretty nice. The other thing you want to think about when you're doing enclosed auto transport is, um, especially if you're doing a three-point, is what are you going to use for uh, tread grabs? The um, These have been out for about 15 years. Um, these are rubber tread grabs. These are pretty good. This is what I get for trying to work by myself on a Saturday. Anyways, um, some of that biscuit. There we go. So, um, what these do, like the name says, they're they're made out of rubber. They're designed to grab the tread of the tire. You can slide or slide around on there, and uh, the purpose is it keeps it uh, positioned on the center of the tire, and it equalizes the tension on either side, and lets it slide through. And usually, there's about uh, three of these rubbers per strap. If you go with this option, but kind of the latest and greatest, however, is this uh, tread grab sleeve. Uh, it's got this rubberized material on the bottom, and then it's got the three-inch uh, webbing on the top. And these these work really, really good. Um, this this side right here would face the tire, and uh, the inside is very slippery and it equalizes the tension. And two foot is all you need of this stuff. This rubber tread grab sleeve. Thank you. 